yeah, let's send all of these illegal children, you know, up here to Connecticut and to all the major uh, wealthy areas like Simsbury and, uh, you know, Greenwich and, uh, you know, Darien and all the, everything and all this town. Just, just let's all send them to, to, to the, to, to the uh, towns where they can get some, you know, work as, uh, you know, cleaning toilets and stuff like that and, they can be properly abused by society because this is what's happening. I mean, this is really what it is. The truth is that the elite are going to benefit from this tremendously. They're going to also just consolidate more wealth, collectivize the wealth. People are going to lose their houses. They're going to lose their jobs, so they lose their houses. Then it's going to, it's, it's a spiral, downhill spiral. I mean, I don't want to be a downer. I mean, don't call me a Debbie Downer or whatever. Oh, come on, don't call me a downer. I'm not a downer. I'm just a realist. You can't continue to pump up these uh, deficits that we that we're pumping up every single year, and add to the debt, which is already seventeen trillion. It'll be twenty trillion in no time, and add to it a financial collapse, which is looming because the dollar is being propped up by the Federal Reserve Crime Syndicate and their eighty-five billion dollar purchases of our of our notes. It's disgusting. It's horrible, uh, but it's true. So when this thing, or this whole Ponzi scheme explodes, it'll make what Bernie Madoff did look like a nothing. Nobody was paying attention to Madoff. Well, you're going to pay attention now because guess what? They want your pension fund, just like, like uh, God rest his soul, uh, um, Carlin said, George Carlin. They want your Social Security. They want your pension funds. They're going to get it. They're going to take it all and subjugate you to the new world order. So the only way we can change this is to truly be the change we wish to see in the world. Take back our republic from the criminals who've hijacked it, the criminals who've interrupted my stream yet again tonight, making me have to do even more work, cut the two pieces together to get a single stream. But it's okay, because nobody said fighting ty tyranny was easy, and nobody said freedom is easy, and freedom is not free. You know, Americans truly take freedom for granted. I believe it is the biggest uh, sin that our country has taken for granted, the fact that we've been free. I made mention of this last night, is that, do you know, in the history of humanity, that only in the last 236 years, 238 years, has our great nation been free. All other societies, all other countries, all other monarchies, um, plutocracies, have all ruled over the people. The American experiment was the only true experiment in freedom and liberty. And it worked. And now those that realize that it worked so well, and those that have benefited the most from it, are making certain that nobody can take that away from them, and they want this world for themselves. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. Because all these regulations are stopping a new, maybe uh, a, a better industrial revolution, a more a greater age of enlightenment where the world is is you know technology is moving so fast ladies and gentlemen but it's only going to benefit a small segment of people in fact it's going to destroy the lower and middle class as they remove jobs screaming for fifteen dollar an hour wages well now i hear that uh, mcdonald's and others uh, actually burger king i think was one of them is where you can order your food and you just pick it up you don't even have to uh... So there's no need for a cashier. It's all prepaid. So this is going to be, eventually, they'll have machines that will make the fries and machines that will make the burgers. And there'll be no, n none of these low jobs, low-level jobs. And, oh, who cares? It doesn't matter, right? Well, it does matter if you have a dumbed-down uh, population added, added to that by illegal aliens who are dumbed-down and not educated as well. So, yeah, if you don't see the writing on the walls, ladies and gentlemen, that's why I'm here. That's why you have to tune in. Tonight, tomorrow night, and every night, weeknights, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on TruthBroadcastNetwork.com.
foundation Fund the fears, fund the evil Through the years, the world's not as it appears Watch Truth Talk News Live, 7 p.m. weeknights, Eastern Standard Time on Truth... You know, Greenwich and, uh, you know, Darien and all the... Everything and all this town. Just, just let's all send them to, to, to the... To, to the... Uh, towns where they can get some, you know, work as... Uh, you know, cleaning toilets and stuff like that. And they can be properly abused by society. 
Because this is what's happening. I mean, this is really what it is. The truth is that the elite are going to benefit from this tremendously. They're going to also just consolidate more wealth, collectivize the... Yeah, let's send all of these illegal children, you know, up here to Connecticut and to all the major uh, wealthy areas like Simsbury and... People are going to lose their houses. They're going to lose their jobs. So they lose their houses. Then it's going to it's a, it's a spiral downhill spiral. I mean, I don't want to be a downer. I mean, don't call me a Debbie Downer or whatever. Well, oh, come on, don't call me a downer. I'm not a downer. I'm just a realist. You can't.